Hey guys, so the iOS 11 Gold Master has exposed all the fun, introducing the groundbreaking iPhone X and also not so groundbreaking iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. These names are found in the code by the developers and if you have watched my last video, you already know that the iPhone X is the name for the OLED iPhone. This box image was sent by a famous Dutch IT provider with the iPhone X label on it and now it's pretty much confirmed by the code as well. Now, Apple is still using the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus names and they will replace the previously rumored iPhone 7S and 7S Plus names for the two LCD models. Now there's a new out of the blue iPhone XE leak came into sight straight from China and guys take this with a grain of salt. Uh, the iPhone XE is going to be the successor uh, to the iPhone SE which was a huge success especially in US. In the era of big smartphone we still have people out there who love 4 inch phones and this iPhone XE might be a big surprise from Apple and it's rumored to come in 128 and 256 GB editions. The developers also found some more iPhone X UI screenshot again with this thin software bar aka home bar at the bottom of the screen and perhaps the game changer UI thing that might actually revolutionize the way we use emojis introducing an emoji which is basically a 3D animated version of current emoji characters for iMessage. My favorite one is this pile of poop. They further explained that an emoji will use facial tracking and voice to create expressive animated messages. I seriously can't wait to try them out. Some information behind the heart of the iPhone X which is the Apple A11 chipset and the core is Mistral architecture where each individual processes share the components of the architecture. We have some detailed info on this. The Apple 11 may be the most fastest processor inside of current phones. Uh, it's gonna blow away everything in benchmarks. Uh, when it comes to performance, Apple always delivers. Yesterday we saw the Face ID animation which is a uh, tutorial on how to set it up and now the actual settings are out named as Face ID and Passcode. And yes, as I told you in the previous video, Face ID is the official name. Face ID can be used for iPhone Unlock, iTunes App Store, and Safari Autofill. Pretty much replacing the Touch ID. Uh, then we got the Enroll Face option uh, with same animated face look. We saw these amazing wallpapers from iOS 11 Goldmaster and then a freaking guest skin turned them into an iPhone 8. Uh, looks pretty good. He even rendered an imaginary iPhone X Plus, which we know won't come, but just in case, this is how a 6.2 inch iPhone X Plus will look. I'm sure we'll see this next year. Also, new and improved AirPods are coming on their way. Uh, the LED indicator is now outside the shell, which is nice because now you don't have to open the shell for checking the battery status. And I think that's the only visual difference. Sound quality will probably remain the same. Hopefully the range will increase uh, thanks to the Bluetooth 5.0. A fun little survey that shows the single most exciting feature of the iPhone 8 and people have voted for wireless charging. Wow, wireless charging, seriously, this was on Samsung phones for years. Then we have quick charging. For God's sake, finally, Apple, it took you so long to bring the fast charging. I mean, this is really, really important. Current iPhones, they take painfully long to charge. Guys, this shows that how thirsty Apple fans have become. I mean, these features that Apple is bringing, they are available for quite some time on Android phones. And once again, here is the final pricing and Apple will give users one year of free Apple Music subscription and 200 GB of iCloud storage to cover those kidney bills and here are the rest of the specs. Guys, the time is here. I'm so excited for the iPhone X. Let me know your thoughts.